Hello friends, I am Rakesh. Welcome to Expo Hub. In this training demo, we are going to learn three different examples. One is about how do you start a process. We'll see some two different examples. And then the next one is how do you get process names, right? What are the processes currently running in your computer? How do you check that, right? And how do you fetch the current username and then kill the specific process of the specific user right how do you write the um, activities for that one okay so all these four examples all these four scenarios we are going to cover so we'll start with one by one all right so this is the entire uh, schema which i have created but we will see it once again all right so the very first thing that i'm going to start is let's learn about process so when you type process uh, you see something called start process, right? Get processes, kill processes. So start process. So the name is quite simple. It's saying, uh, let's say I wanted to start a notepad. I want to start, uh, let's say Google Chrome, right? Any such process you want to start. So there has to be an executable path here. Okay, and the text must be quoted. Very simple. So let's do that. And I will show you some two different examples. Um, so here, let me first go to program files and here let's say I am going to open Chrome okay and here below that you have something called type uh, argument here so you can write which uh, site you want to open let's say www.youtube.com isn't it I want to open this all right so if I run this now You can see that the YouTube has come over here isn't it all right so start process is understood and, and how do you utilize this argument is also understood let's say we'll do the same thing with notepad so notepad if I type notepad right click properties and this is your exe isn't it so what you do because if you type this one here, it will give you an error. I'll show you. This one, if I simply run, this will not be able to find that. Because this one is not entirely resolved. Windows directory system 32, it's not entirely resolved. For that, open Windows Explorer, enter this, hit enter. So you can see that the notepad is opening from the Windows Explorer. Close this, again click here, then you have the proper path. So right now what I'm going to do is, I will simply remove this. I will paste this one. Again, remember, it has to be in double quotes. All right, and I want to create a file called test expo hub okay this should be the name of the file now if i run it you can see that it is asking you would you like to create a new file say yes to it so that that is going to create a test expo hub txt okay the file got created so this is how you'll be utilizing the start process all right we are good with this one now we will learn about the get process right so get process on the right hand side it asks you for the output variable processes so here you have to define a variable so let me define a variable control k and i will say this will be again a collection of variables so collection of processes so i'll simply say all processes okay okay all processes is the variable that i have created now one thing to look at all processes the variable type if you see system dot diagnostics dot process 
okay this is the type of variable that it automatically creates when you utilize control k so this is what the variable type is required to get process now simply what i will do i will use a for each loop to see what are the all the current processes running in my system so for each all right now in the for each i am going to mention the variable and i want to see what are the current processes running so for that i'll be using log message here i will select info and here i am going to select item simply i will say item okay now one thing as i always said for each loop requires to define the type argument let's say i am not defining it now i will simply run it okay so the process has started and you can see that everything has got system dot diagnostic dot process and the process name is defined all the process names have appeared okay what are these process names it's simply coming from your task manager whatever the process is currently running all are getting listed over here okay now what i want i do not want that system dot a diagnostic dot process rather i want the proper process name for that again go to for each loop here the type argument is object type so here you need to select the system dot diagnostic dot process okay in case if that is not available go to browse for types and here you need to type system dot diagnostic and here you would find that process so highlight this scroll down okay so there you go this is the process so this is how all you can select now if i run it now after changing the type argument you will see you know the process name has come but again it did not come the way i want it so what i will do click on item dot here i will say process so when you click on item dot we can see all this properties have come and out of that i am going to select the property process name now you will see the difference oh let me write it process name okay now if i run it now you can see the proper exact processes which supposed to come has come without those prefix of system dot diagnostic dot process has stopped coming and only the required processes which ever supposed to come has come all right wonderful so we understood this now one of the activity what i said is how to fetch the current so we learned how to uh, use start process with two examples we saw google chrome and notepad second one how to use get processes right we understood how to get the entire processes now how to fetch the current username is something we are going to learn okay so for that one i will use a assign activity and here system dot environment dot your username right so you know about this if you have learned vb dot net c sharp so system is your namespace environment is your class and this is your property username so that way it is going to fetch the username and then let me say control k and here i will say current user okay so the username will set in the variable current user all right now i want to type that so all you have to do log message select info and here i want to type the current user all right now let me run this
okay now you will see whatever the username for my system will appear in the output panel so let me scroll up and you can see that the first one is the username which is user right the name is user all right so that has come okay now what i have to do is i wanted to kill uh, my fourth scenario how to kill the specified users specified process so uh, in my system i want to kill let's say let me take one example let's say internet explorer okay so internet explorer is open now and uh, i want to kill uh, internet explorer in rakesh or my system okay so here in my case the username is user itself so i want to kill that so how to do it okay so let's do that so first thing i will use a if activity okay and here i am going to mention first is current user right current user equals to user and item right item dot process name process name equals to so for internet explorer it will be i explore so how do you find that if you go back to your this one if you type here it should because that time it was not running but this is i explore right so exact um, process name you have to type you are not typing dot exe okay because that doesn't come as output dot exe or whatever it is so it is just coming as i explore so just type i explore now here i will use the third activity called kill process okay so what it should kill it has to kill item dot process so item dot process name is equal to i explore so it will uh, eventually kill i explore only but here i am going to mention item dot process name so when the loop would run if you see that the entire loop will run it will fetch all the process name and whichever meets this condition i explore it is going to kill that simple process name okay so that way this is all done now we will simply run it and with this it is going to kill the internet explorer.exe which is currently open on my taskbar okay you can see that it has closed so with this example guys we have learned all the four different scenarios guys we i do upload videos daily uh, please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not and hit on the like button and please do comment in case you have any questions you want to clar clarify please do comment on the comment section of the video thank you very much you have a wonderful day